Whilst we're going on a two day camp on part of the John Muir Way that runs from Bal to Burn Crooks Reservoir at the uh, Kilpatrick Hills. This is quite a long walk, it's relatively flat so we brought some extra stuff, I'm starting to doubt whether that was a good idea now. Nice views over to the Paps of Lost in Loch Lomond. And Drimmon, well front. So I was just entered the Kilpatrick Hills from the northernmost side. Already regretting. Extra stuff I've got in my pack. Hopefully it'll pay dividends when I get there. I've got a larger tent, three man. Just a cheapo, a wee bit of extra room. A couple of chairs. Some other odds and ends. As I say, it's a relatively flat walk now we're up here. So I'm hoping things will get a bit easier. This section of John Muir Way runs from Balloch to Burn Crooks Reservoir, which is a nice walk in itself. But we're going to stop off and get in into a wee spot we know. John Muir, he's the founder and the father of the National Parks. He lived in the 1800s and set up the first National Park in America. Scotsman. He used to hang about the president over there. Even Pam's done up that park course. If this keeps up, I'll be getting a pair of saddlebags for Amber. I had two 500 gram tins in my bag, that's a kilo right away. At least it'll not be coming back with us. Apart from empty tins, of course. Yeah, there should be, yeah, there's some pallets around here, or there was last time we walked this. Plan of stopping in there for a bit before we take a heart attack. I'm not going to film much of this, but it's just a few miles of forest. Unless I see or hear anything interesting. Just coming up in heart attack pallets. I get a bag off here for two minutes. Five. Yeah, it looks like forest you've been in, I don't know what that is. Fertilizer maybe. Trees, bags of trees, lots of them. I don't know whether that'll be new native trees or whether it's more. Our trees. Who knows? Now, if you just come down that path there, you hit this handy sign. And if you're not sure where you're going, you're not sure now, I think they maybe put John Muir Way back to the right there and John Muir Way Burn Crooks to the left. Anyway, I suppose if you're up here, you should have a rough idea where you're going. Might be tempted to jump up in them, yeah, a nice photo opportunity, a bad idea, about half a ton each. I start moving, 
and swally up. Another piece of handy signage and pull off left here. Here's a nice wee bridge. A couple of these dotted about. It's hard to get any filming done out in the open moor, quite windy. One of the GoPro's big enemies, even with wind reduction on the dead cat. This other big enemy being low light, which we'll experience later on. I do have my Andor light with me this time, it goes on to the cold shoe and top it, so we'll see if that makes any difference. Another wee tip is don't put a titanium cup inside another titanium pot. You'll hear exactly what you're hearing from my rucksack. I make that mistake all the time. Another couple of miles up that way takes you to Burn Crooks Reservoir. If you're heading down this way. A wee bit overland. We're heading down that way, towards that wee clump of trees, and a nice wee burn flows through there. That one we just crossed on the bridge a wee while back. And we're going to take a wee pit stop down there on those stumps, get the rucksack off before I put a match to it. So I was up on my chosen spot, well off the beaten track. Came across this wee spot a few years ago. Not camped it yet, but I knew there's plenty of wood, water. And a good wee fire going on the edge of that wee horseshoe bend there. Just nearly went my backside again. So it happened yesterday when we fight the log up behind Helmsborough. Anyway, we're here, and what a gorgeous wee spot this is. And nice and flat. It even look like somebody's camped here before. Beautiful wee burn. I think that flows down into the East Gach. Can't remember. Look nice. The only real issue I can see here is where we're going to put our fire. I certainly don't want to set that bracken, dead bracken up. Maybe get some sand to burn, keep it small. Maybe up on this point. Somewhere we can get the water quick if we need it. We're just going to try and contain the fire here on this wet mud for the burn. The cheapo tent up over there. Palmer's garden some wood. Slightly concerned about the ATEs, but it's not very windy and predominant wind in Scotland southwesterly. So if they're going to go, hopefully they'll go away from us. swing around the campsite in my cheapo three man tent it won't be coming again and we're getting hidden up here the next trek I'm not reading the paper nice and recreational fire's kicked up that's probably about as big as I'm going to make it 
wee gear log here on my uke and we go that later, embarrass myself here's a laugh beautiful spot Butter rolls and mozzarella and tomato. The sun gone down. Seventeen forty-nine. Fire's going good, guns. That's about as big as it's going to get. Not those logs at the back. I'll show you the front. Everything's half sorted. The usual bins ready. Hats on. Long sleeves on. I must get a hoodie up. Interesting. She's been sinking into the ground quite a bit, so the back of the seat now sits in her walking shoes. Still got the sort of scoreboard on. Purple tin on the move. There's the fire. And we've got the second enemy, the GoPro, which has lost a light. I'll pop that on the camera later. The GoPro's garbage. It starts to get dark. Something to do with the ISO, apparently. The Comos sensor, the twin keely shacks, and the overhead double zoop zoops. Something like that. I've got time to look into all that. Just put a light on. And a couple of wee snacks here. Morrison's reduced. Three onion badges. Was 125, now 32 pence. Three onion badges. Christ, I know the price of. Food's going up, but come on. Cocktail sausages, you say, were for amber, but been snacking on them. Was a pound for about eight cocktail sausages, now 25 pence. Another three onion badges. Couple of pork pies, nice and healthy. Couple of quiches. Campfire snacks basically. Get me wrong, got a cut of nice chicken breast and a noodle kit and stuff, some red pepper and veg and stuff for tomorrow. Out with the Andor light on, I know it's still quite light, but just to see if it makes any improvement. Pamela, snug as a bug. Amber's starting to chitter, so obviously she doesn't go near the fire. Didn't you know, darling? So she's popped her, we popped her sleeping jacket on. Campsite's taking shape, starting to make out a couple of wee paths about the place. Just let the fire die back a wee bit. We're listening to America's Greatest Hits, Clyde 2. Seven o'clock now, guys. It's really starting to chill down. But the fire's starting to kick up. You see, I'm not a big fan of sawing, so I'll just have the logs sticking out the side. Let the fire saw do its work. Pamela's layering up. Michelin style, on the same. Got my designer long johns on. I'll zip on the bottom of these trousers at some point. All's good. We've we'll got two quiches and the onion badges are on. Supper time. Oh, 
here's the GoPro in low light. It's not pitch dark, but it's dark. What you can see is maybe the fire candle. Probably nothing over there, which is got an orange light in the tent. And I stick the Andor light on. See if that helps anything. Probably not perfect, but certainly a good bit better. Candle. Tent. Ten past nine. Starting to chill down a wee bit. Time for the flexi tail fire pump. Hey people, it's morning time. God, my, it was a wee bit of a rough night. I woke up maybe 10, 12 times, a bit chilly, even with my full complement on. Nothing they couldn't deal with right enough. So, that breakfast coming up. And this wee pop, we've got my toothbrush, my scourer, my tongs. Toothpaste, oil. Lighter. We multi tool. That's a wee mini cloth. And that's a wee expandable cloth in a wall if I need it. Bit of tin for This has been lying in the river. Look at them, they're the better ones. I can eat in. And I'll call them done. This area just about squared away. Palm and Amber are done in. Clay fire pit or twelve. Time to get going. So if you like this wee video, please like and subscribe and hit the notification button. See you on the next one.